Hi everyone, welcome to another refurbishment video. Uh, something a bit different this time. This is my uh, 14 and a half year old compact Presario desktop. I bought it in June 2005. The original spec was uh, CPU AMD Athlon 64 3500 plus, uh, a gig of RAM, a GE4 64 meg graphics card, and two 320 gig hard drives. Came with Windows XP 32 bit and I installed Service Pack 3. At the time, this is, was a, quite a well equipped machine. Um, the reviews said that the CPU was a, in quotes, Pentium 4 killer. For playing games like Doom 3, um, Quake 3, it was uh, really good. The only downside was as the years went on, I found the graphics card really struggled. And looking at back at the reviews, it was actually uh, a lower, lower powered uh, graphics card. At the time, I didn't really know too much about upgrading, so I just kept the card as it was and didn't replace it at all. Moving on to the case, it's your standard uh, medium sized case. It's got USB 2 ports at the front. It's got the usual input ports for microphone and headphones and speakers. It's also got a uh, card reader and it's got a DVD writable drive. One thing I do like about this case is it's so easy to take the side panel off. All you've got is one knurled screw and even that doesn't drop out, it stays in the, it stays in the panel as you pull it off. And that's all there is to it. Moving on to the back of the case, we've got USB ports there, we've got an Ethernet port. That's a Firewire um, port which I've never used, uh, keyboard and mouse ports. There's an old printer port. Uh, the exhaust fan I took out and gave it clean. Um, that's the graphics card and the two slots there, one was the TV card which I had to take it out because the graphics card I'm going to put in, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, there was no room to fit it in there. Um, yeah, so this was a great PC at the time, and uh, I didn't have too many problems with it, to be honest. I, I did have to replace the DVD drive, and the graphics card failed, so I got exactly the same model. I wasn't too knowledgeable at the time about graphics cards, and it didn't just didn't occur to me to upgrade it. But the games I was playing at the time, like Doom 3, Serious Sam, Quake 3, um, that card could cope with it pretty well. Looking inside the case, it's uh, got plenty of room inside. Um, it's got a 300 watt power supply. It's got, uh, there's the CPU, there's the graphics card the two hard drives and the DVD drive at the top. I was actually surprised to see that the drives were connected by SATA cables so this is going to make it easy to uh, upgrade. RAM slots are easy to access, easy, easily accessible once you've got these cables out of the way. So I'm going to upgrade that. Uh, did have a TV uh, aerial capture card inside but I've taken that out because the graphics card I'm going to put in it won't fit unless that card comes out I uh, gave the case a uh, clean out to get rid of the dust the uh, CPU core looks a bit dusty so what I might do at some point is take that off and give it a clean but running initial tests didn't uh, get uh, very hot at all, which was which was a bonus really. Now the plan is is to upgrade the RAM to the maximum that that board will take, which is four gig. I'm going to install Windows 10 32-bit because for lower spec machines 
that's a bet, better bet than going for 64 bit. We replace the hard drives with a solid state drive. Unfortunately, overclocking the CPU is not possible on that motherboard, so it'll have to stay as stock. With regards to the graphics cards, I'm not going to go too over the top because the uh, CPU will just bottleneck it like crazy. So, and also the power supply is only 300 watts. So what I've got is a one gig EVGA GT730, which is more than enough really. So what I'll do is I'll get all that installed and uh, report back in another video. Thanks for watching.